matters to do with football. And remember, yesterday, the Football Kenya Federation president, and that is Nick Mwendo, said that the Sofa Park and Alto Moroni team are not going to take part in this year's edition of the Kenyan Premier League. But today, the Sofa Park and Moroni leadership have said, you know what, we are here to stay, and we are going to be taking part in the Kenyan Premier League season that is scheduled to start this April, this February, sorry, from the date 11. Let's listen in what Abula actually gathered in regards to that debacle that has been growing so far. Following Thursday's verdict by Football Kenya Federation that Sofapaka and Muhoroni have been relegated to the National Super League after failing to comply with the CAF club licensing requirements, officials from the two clubs held a joint press briefing stating that they will be competing in the KPL title come 11th February. Uh, okay, ladies and in, according to our understanding is that we knew <clears throat> automatically having finished number 14 in the 2016 Kenya Premier League season, we qualified on sporting grounds, that is, on the field of play. Club license ni kitu mzuri ambayo itasaidia wachezaji, itasaidia wa Kenya, itasaidia soka. Lakini siyo kitu ya gusema tutachukulia ni kama fimbo ya gutandikana. Hapana, tuko hapa juu ya gutengeneza soka, mpira. On his side, Muhoroni chairman Moses Adagala maintains that the club has paid all its players to date. The only club that have been giving the players loans, and everybody knows that in Moroni Youth, we accommodate our players, they get everything that they want. According to a letter released by KPL Vice Chairman Ambrose Rachier, the decision to demote the two clubs is null and void. The letter states that, and I quote, this is to confirm that the above Kenyan Premier League clubs, Muhoroni Youth and Sofapaka, have not been relegated from the league and will continue to participate in the league during the 2017 season. End of quote. The Kenya Premier League fixtures are expected to be released next week ahead of the new season, and this is a clear indication that the KPL vs FKF war is far from over. Abula Ahmed, KTN Sports.